Hi, Mr. Chu here, and welcome to my study room. Today, we are using Casio FX991ES Plus second edition to solve correlation and linear regression questions. An example is a question we have here. The table shows the relation between weekly advertisement X and number of items sold Y in a shop. Then the table is there. Another they said calculate the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. So we are going to use a calculator to construct a table and then use it to find the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. We start by performing the following functions. The first thing we need to do is to turn on the calculator. After turning it on, we press mode. This work is statistics, so that's number three. We press three. The first option is one variable. The second one is A plus BX, which stands for two variables. And we want two variables. As you can see, the table has two variables, X and Y. So we go and enter two. And you can see the x and the y in the table there the cursor is under x means we need to enter the x values and this is what we are going to do when we enter each value we press equal to for the cursor to drop then we keep entering the values and pressing equal to until we get to the last one so let's start i, I want the camera to be on the figure so i'll just be saying what i'm doing then we go ahead so the first one is zero we press zero if you press zero, you see that it appears down here. The number you entered will appear here. So zero, we press equal to the cursor has dropped. Then the next one is three. So three equal to six equal to nine equal to two equal to four equal to eight equal to one equal to five equal to and seven equal to it's finished we want to move to the next column you just have to press the down arrow key now this goes to the top then now you use the right arrow key it comes to the y column so you can be checking the values of x against y but now you're going to enter the y value the first one is also zero so zero equal to for three we have 25 so 25 equal to for six we have 63 so you can be using to be checking the x values whether you made mistake anywhere so you enter 63 equal to for nine we have 94 so 94 equal to two we have 105 105 equal to then for four we have 12 so 12 equal to eight is 42 42 equal to one is 81 so 81 equal to five is 101 101 equal to and then seven is 107 107 equal to and you can still go over and check whether all your numbers are the same so i want to check along the x column so i will just use the arrow key to bring the left then I press down, it goes to start from the top. So zero, the corresponding y is zero. Then for three, corresponding is 25. With six, the corresponding is 63. Then nine is 94. Two is 105. Four is 12. Eight is 42. One is 81. Five is 101. And seven is 107. So all my figures are correct. I just press down, then I press AC. I've just entered the data into the calculator. This one, the question said we should calculate the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. So after pressing AC, I press shift. I go and look for statistics, and that is number one. Then you see the options come. I'm looking for correlation coefficient, that is under regression. So I'll press number five, which is REG for regression so number five i'm not looking for a b or anything i'm looking for the correlation coefficient which is normally represented with r so i'll press three which is the r then i press equal to so the correlation coefficient is 0 0.35465472111 or to two decimal places 0 0.35 that is the correlation coefficient the correlation coefficient is not the only thing we can find for example, 
this question is an essay question so assuming you are working it out since you are supposed to show working so that you get marks for the method you can use this to find your n your n squared and so on then you can substitute into the formula for the correlation coefficient which is 1 minus 6 sigma d squared over n multiplying n squared minus 1 for the correlation coefficient yes yeah, so aside that one you can just verify your answers using the calculator and one of the things you can look for is you press ac you go back to shift and the many options come again and let me just say something small the type is the type of function that you are going to enter or how many variables the data is you are telling us you are now going to enter data so it will bring back the table for example if i press 2 right now you see that it brings back our table that we've entered and the data is in so assuming i want to enter another table i just enter the values by pressing the value whatever the cursor is pressing equal to the number we change to the new one that's the meaning of the data the data is you want to enter so i'm back to shift one for statistics then there are other things but then i will go to number four which is var so i go to number four number four assuming this question is not looking for only the correlation coefficient let's say we are drawing a scatter diagram and we have to find the coordinate of the centroid then we can use the two first of all let me talk about the n the n talks about the number of values for each variable and in this case when we look at the question you can see that we have 10 columns the way it's standing we have 10 values for each of them x and y so when you press number one and you press equal to it should give you 10 because we have 10 values for x and 10 values for y then we can press ac and then go back to shift one for the statistics then we are back to var again number four here yeah, i was talking about the centroid so assuming we are doing a scatter diagram and then we are looking for the line of regression and we will need a very important thing which is the centroid the coordinates of the centroid then we can go to the number two which is the mean of the x values which is the x coordinate of the centroid number two press two equal to that's 4.5 so the mean of the x values is 4.5 go back to ac shift statistics var number four then we can use five to find the mean of the y values which is the y coordinate of the centroid equal to and that is also 63 and these are a few things about correlation and linear regression that we can use casio fs 991 es plus to find that i would like you to know i have more videos on how to use the casio fx 991 es plus so i hope this one has been of help to you if yes why not subscribe to this channel for more videos and also check out the other videos that i have already on this so that you can have more use of your calculator thank you for your time with me and i hope to see you again bye bye